Hello everyone, welcome back to the Jesting. So today I have a brand new book out that I, writ I wrote a few months ago, but uh, still pretty good. And it's it's in a sort of confusing perspective. Um, it's in first person, and but it's like actually happening in the present right right now. So it's like not saying like when we did this this happened it's like saying okay now we are doing this and stuff like that so it is called the one the runaway brothers as you can see oh gosh on the camera i don't know what's going on but it it's it's like i can't tell like it, it can it has to look through the pages somehow but this is the cover let's try to hold it back like this that's the cover as you can see the runaway brothers one I did write a second one for my ELA class, which, um, is coming soon. It's basically done, but I haven't printed it out yet. And, um, it's in diff it's still in first person, but it has to be a little bit more serious and, like, not as silly. But, and, they're both short stories, although this is, this is a lot shorter, but there's, like, grammatical errors in it, because... I just wrote it at home. But anyway, so let me just read you the trailer, yo. Uh, oh, uh, okay, so yeah, here we go. Uh, in the story, there are two unfortunate brothers that have a mom who forces them to go to acrobatics camp because she thinks they're fat. Uh, comment on me a little few of a mom like that, y'all. <laughs> I don't think anyone really does because I've never heard of acrobatics camp, but that's why I made it up to make this story funny, you know. So, she thinks they're fat. Will they escape if they have the chance? Find out in this book. That's about what I'm going to read you. So, here we go. And it is starring uh, the narrator, his brother, who's a bit li uh, littler than him, as you'll find out a lot more in the second book. Uh, their mom, which kind of looks a bit angry, you can't really see. And Luanda, who's a who's a naive acrobatics teacher, and who's my favorite character. And if you didn't know, Luanda's also the capital of Angola. So yeah, if you don't know what Angola is, then look it up. It's country in Africa, by the way. Uh, anyway, uh, and then there's a kid who I later named Lanzo. All right, so here we go. It is a Thursday. Me and my brother are watching some stuff on TV. Lately, our mom has been saying that we're fat and we should get exercise. But we don't think we are. Wait, mom is saying something. You two don't get enough exercise. Let's go to acrobatics. What? Acrobats? And I bet when she says let's, that means me and my brother. Of course, that's what parents do all the time, you know. And teachers. It's so bad. Uh, so we are pushed into the car, and off we go. Woo! <laughs> and, okay, so. Alright, we're there. Once we got there, I knew it was bad. The teacher is coming out the door. Welcome to Acrobats Camp. I'm your teacher, Luanda. Acrobats Camp? So we are staying there for a long time? This can't be good. We walk in, and this kid comes up to us and says, Are you new? Um, yeah, I was new, I say. Well, you're not gonna like it here. I've been planning an escape for a while. An escape? That's just what we needed. Um, we could help you with that. Okay, class, time for our first lesson. Luanda has spoke. That's a grammatical error, but I just added it to make it more funny. We are now going into our first lesson, and I think Mom has just left. Hi kids, today we will learn about acrobats. First, acrobats is a thing you do to be flexible, and it's fun. Not fun. I'll get back to you later at night. So it's, it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a perspective from someone filming a video, you know? And uh, this takes place in Britain, by the way, if you can't already tell. By my accent. Okay, so it's night now. Luanda was basically lecturing us all about acrobats. So now we are in a room, and just like, 
Just like I thought, the beds are full of acrobat things. It is now lights out time, and me, my brother, and the kid, Lanceau, are talking about plans to escape. Just then, I get a cold breeze. Wait, the one that left the window open. That's how we can escape. Genius idea! So we push it open a little further, and I am squeezing out. I'm out, and my brother gets out. Finally, Lanceau is getting out. Well, says Rokus! Lanceau, what are you doing? Get back in bed now! It's Luanda. That's what she sounds like when she's all cranky. Uh, hide! So that's what his name is. It's Lanceau. We wait for Luanda to get back to sleep now. Okay, she's asleep. Now we are running away. To be continued. And I'll read you the comments real quick and then tell you a quick uh, notification. So, uh, I, I always leave space in the back of my stories because they're super short for comments. And uh, my brother wrote, this literary, this literary work is filled with mediocre and unsatisfying grammatical non-elegance. Sounds super professional. I, I personally consider it to be fully, positively bad. That's horrible. I don't like them anymore. Okay, this is my mom. Will Lanzo ever get out? How many ways can you spell Lanzo? And she disagrees with my spelling because it's spelled uh, L-A-N-C-O. And she thinks it should be L-A-N-C-E-O. Which just doesn't make sense to me. And inquiring minds want to know. Why mom me? She means the, the the mom in the story. So anyway, uh, leave a like if you want to hear the second se or the sequel, and that's the end of the series. And it's a lot more descriptive and a lot more professional sounding. So yeah, tell me in the comments if you want that. Anyway, um, I won't be uploading for a few days because my grandma's gonna be here. And but one really weird thing. Is that she has to get? She has to be at the airport at four thirty, and yeah, it's four thirty. Just you're probably just thinking, well, Jesse, that's just a random regular time, just four thirty. Well, a.m. four thirty a.m. Yes, uh, you probably all know that, but well, you know, you wouldn't anyway. But so yeah, I've never had to get up that early. I've had to be at the airport at like five thirty. For when I went to New York, like, in March, if you remember those videos. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, turn notifications. And, yeah, so, uh, have a Merry Christmas or whatever your holiday is. So, bye!